We're interested in the symptom of photosensitivity that affects lupus patients. Photosensitivity is where lupus patients can go out into the sunlight for a walk in the sun, for example, and then um, the sunlight will cause red rashes, uncomfortable rashes to develop on the sun-exposed areas of their face and, say, shoulders and arms. These rashes can be bothersome to the patient. Also, it can be associated with worsening of their internal disease. So if a lupus patient suffers from kidney disease, for example, their kidney Kidney disease can be worsened by that exposure to sunlight and the associated uh, skin lesions. Photosensitivity in lupus is actually very common. It is present in about 30 to 65 percent of patients with lupus. And interestingly, it can also oftentimes be the first sign that a patient has lupus. So sometimes patients can come in presenting with photosensitivity and that's sometimes their first presenting symptom. With our study, we found that this cell in the skin called Langerhans cells are responsible for protecting the skin from the sunlight or ultraviolet radiation. Interestingly, we found that these cells called Langerhans cells are dysfunctional in some of the lupus models that we use in the lab. And we also have data that show that these cells are dysfunctional in and lupus patients in their skin as well. One of the exciting aspects of our findings is that we're finding that the Langerhans cells activate a family of molecules called epidermal growth factor family molecules, so EGF family molecules, and then these molecules then um, help the skin cells stay alive and stay healthy. People are starting to ask about the utility of EGF family cytokines in things like wound healing and other um, kinds of rashes. And so potentially we can make use of drugs that are being formulated already and then repurpose them for lupus. We were surprised by the findings uh, that Langerhans cells protect the skin. And Langerhans cells are known really best for their functions in stimulating the other immune cells, um, so such as TMB cells, which protect us from infection. So here, instead, we're finding that Langerhans cells can protect the skin uh, from UV irradiation. So our findings that Langerhans cells can protect the skin from sunlight actually led to a lot of new exciting areas in the lab. So some of the things we're interested in now is how exactly these Langerhans cells become dysfunctional in lupus patients. We're wondering whether there's something inside of the, the body in lupus patients, like another cytokine or another molecule that's actively affecting Langerhans cells to make them dysfunctional. Other areas that we're interested in um, includes whether Langerhans cells are participating in other aspects of skin health and whether they can control other things in the skin.